I was surrounded by thousands and thousands of children. At the time, I had 320 who called me mama, and I screamed, no, there are too many, too many children. There he was. There he was again. <laughs> My Jesus, standing, looking at me, looking at me, surrounded by the same children. His eyes of fire, his eyes of passionate love, burning through my soul until my no, until my no became a yes cry. My no became a yes cry. He said, you give them something to eat. And he pulled a piece, a piece of body from his broken side. Oh, his face. <laughs> His face is so beautiful and so full of light and so full of glory and his body so hideously bruised and beaten, broken, tortured. I looked at that piece of flesh. I thought, how? How could I give that to a child? But I took it, I took it in my hand. That broken, bloody piece of flesh and it turned before my eyes into fresh bread. Holy, holy, fresh bread. I began to give it to the children one by one, one by one, I looked into their eyes as he looks into mine. And thousands and thousands and thousands of them ate the fresh bread from his side. He said, look into my eyes. And as I gazed into the beauty, oh, <laughs> oh, the beauty, the beauty of Jesus. Hey, he said, I died that there would always be enough. And then he took a cup. It wasn't a jeweled cup, it wasn't a golden cup, it wasn't a spectacular cup, it was a poor man's cup. And he took it and he placed it right next to his side, his right side, and out of his right side flowed blood and water and it filled the cup. I knew it was a cup of suffering and joy. I was to drink it. I drank this cup. And then I began to feed it to the children, to give them a drink from the cup. Oh! And each one drank, each one drank. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them drank. And again, Jesus said, look into my eyes. And I gazed into the beauty, the beauty of Jesus. And he said, I died that there would always be enough. Oh. 